I don't even think I need to say a word to introduce this game. Good old Super Mario 64. Pretty much every millennial will say this was one of the best games of their childhood. Yeah, so I was thinking this time, actually, of doing the Japanese version, just to kind of shake things up, because I do have the Japanese version. I got it when I went to Japan in 2019. Yeah, so that's the Japanese version of Super Mario 64. <sighs> I knew that was going to happen. Okay. Mario. Yeah. Okay. You know, I'll mess around with this because I haven't done that in a long time. to hold them in place. Sounds glitched out. Let me try again. If I keep having problems, I'll just do the American version. Mario. 
Okay, that sounds normal now. You know, since this guy has a 120... a 100% file, um, I'll show you what happens when you get all the stars. Or woman. Person. Okay, so yeah, when you get all the stars, um, that cannon gets unlocked. And with that, you can shoot yourself to the top of the castle. And guess who's there? Yoshi. Iyasugoi des kokuni iraba areruto kite takedo honto ni aete shimai mashita dengon ga arimas. I haven't studied Japanese at all for a a really long time now, so that's not bad for not reading for not messing with it in a long time. So he's saying, I'm here. There's something. And he gives you a hundred lives. Pretty much every everyone my age would know about that, but um, I just thought I'd show that for the younger people who might not know. Oh, you can also. actually start now. It's me, Mario! So the most noticeable difference is, um... Some of the voices didn't exist. Like, just now, Peach, in the American version, Peach would have read that letter. In Japan, they had, they, they, later, they, you know, re-released this game. And it was like a rumble pack version, and that had the voices that were missing. Wapa donkan o kuduri meke pichu no oshiro ni tsumashita. So it's saying something about a warp, and um, and then Peach's castle. So sawa kantan e button ga jumpu. B button de kogeki kanban mo yamemas a to jump and B or, I don't know Mario o uko kasu no wa manakani suiteru 3D steak mazuwa oshiro e susume So just so you know, I can read a lot more than I actually understand. Learning words is really hard, especially with the kanji. Pichin 
no Oshiro, Sugoku go, a button jumpu, the button shagamu, a button kanban yomu, punchu, mono o botsu, moi chito doo su nagaru. Okay. Spending too much time reading stuff. Let's get to it. Konnichiwa. Bokutachi kamera ra mano. Okay, yeah. But I hope everybody knows he just said hello. Gotta at least know how to say hello in every language. Said welcome mm -hmm. something. Yeah. Yeah. Been a long time since I played this game. Been a long while. Yamano no Bomb King Bomb no Senjo Bomb King Oto Kokoa Kiken Na Senjo I freaking love this game when I was a toddler so much. I know I say that about a lot of games that I grew up with, um, but this is one of the most especially games. I always wish I understood more of the Japanese because um, I studied for a long time and like I could barely comprehend because Japanese is very hard and complicated or at least there's some things about it that are very that make it very complicated but I would love to understand everything because Japanese is a very fun language to learn 
And I think it's a it's an important language to know. I definitely recommend trying to learn it someday. To me, the best site ever to start learning Japanese is a site called Free Japanese Lessons. That was perfect for a beginner. It was good at explaining everything to a beginner. Okay, we we'll have to get two more stars to go there, so let's go back and do another mission. I don't know what that says, so I'm not gonna know. Oh, okay. It's the turtle race. I'm good. Yoi. Dun. Why should a turtle ever race? Screw the bridge. I can jump far. I wonder if that's the fastest I've ever done it, because I've never tried to go as fast as I could like that. There he is. Jeez, you're so slow, I was waiting for you for like a whole minute. Yeah, hopefully I'll be able to figure out what to do when I don't know the name of the quest. Alright, uh, let's get one more. Yeah, I don't know that either. Yeah, I need to talk to them to help my cannon. I always assumed it was a female because it was pink. I don't know if I should. There, it's open. I mean, even if I don't know what the uh, what mission I picked. Um, I should be able to get the other stars anyway. I should also try to get all the red coins to, to get the star. Thank <laughs> you. 
I wish I still had my Japanese dictionary installed on my phone. It'd be easy to translate some of this. I'll try this. I don't know if this is what I think. I should be fine. My turn. I'll actually try to get another here. Maybe I'll do that right points. Oh, something in the sky, so it must be that. Well, I'll do the red coin first. I love that when I do that. I know that other one bounces. I thought this would too. So this game was super revolutionary for 3D games. Which is pretty much why it's as famous as it is. I mean that and, you know, mostly because it's very lovable. But that was definitely a huge part of it. Even one of the people who worked on Grand Theft Auto said, um, if anybody, if any creator of 3D games say they did not borrow something from Super Mario 64, Zelda, or Green of Time, they're lying. And that does actually make sense because, um, because this game, yeah, since it was. Since it was revolutionary like that for 3D games, and you know, it, and it feels very free. You know, you're going everywhere and doing stuff. And stuff. And, you know, it's kind of sandbox-like. Yeah. I thought there was a right. Cool. 
I already noticed that one earlier, I don't know why I didn't grab it.
barely made that. I got way too cocky. I was scared of piranha plants in games, especially the ones in Crash Bandicoot, those were freaky. Those terrified me. That's way easier than I remember. That's way too easy. Here we go. Oh, I got five. I at least want to try to make it to the first boss. Let's go to Dire Dire Docks. So that place is beautiful. Nostalgia already is overwhelming. That nostalgia that it triggers me here is like very bittersweet. It's so beautiful, it hurts. It makes me wish I was back to, to when I was playing this when I was a toddler. That childhood bliss was the most beautiful thing I ever experienced. Now it's nostalgic bliss. Yeah. 
One time I saw a video of the the synthesizer keyboard that this music was composed with. I forgot which one it was though, but I think it was one of the Yamaha ones. You have to open these in order or something. That's the first one. Doing good. That's pretty easy. I wish I could do the mission in this Let's Play where um, you go inside that ship. I just don't know if I can navigate the missions well enough. There's a secret level here. I need to see what was in the one first. I think this is the extra life. This room's very nice. I already said this once, but, um, you yeah, know, this was something that I missed the most, that I missed the most about games is, and why I love Nintendo 60, the Nintendo 64 games when I was a toddler, you know, is because of, you know, all the creativity that, and heart that they put into it was very enjoyable at that age. Games like this gave me a lot of comfort as a little kid. It always makes me sad that, um, you know, kids will never know what it was like to grow up with these games. Because the feelings that I experience with these games, you know, I feel like... You know, every human being should experience that growing up. The world would probably be a better place. It'd be amazing. When I when I have kids someday, you know, I've always wanted to have kids, um you know, I want to make sure they get to experience that too. So I'll get that all figured out. I love this snow up here. So it said something about this, about a slide, so I don't know if it's talking about that over there, or 
the one inside the house. But, um... I guess it doesn't really matter, so... What is Steelers house? And I always thought this was really cool. You know, this little house didn't have any entrance besides that chimney, and you go inside and it's like this whole place. That's part of what I'm talking about, you know. You know, creative, creative ideas like that. Well, normally there's supposed to be a penguin here that you race. After I just got that. Yeah. Here we go. But I officially got it. Yeah. All right, we're going to Bowser. For the first time. Yeah. Woo. This really brings up brings back memories here. I 
I forgot. I don't know if I can do it yet. Okay. Yeah, I forgot how you unlock it. But you know, there's that sky level. Actually, let me use IT and see if there's anything else I like to do in this let's play. Is that rabbit here? Yeah, just in case anyone doesn't know, um, that rabbit that was here, um, his name was Mips or something, and he was the very first character that was over, that was ever programmed for the Nintendo 64, and he was just a test character, but Nintendo liked him a lot, so they put them in this game. So, very fun fact. I do remember this being pretty hard. I I didn't remember why it was hard. You know, like I forgot about all this. So it's like slowly coming back to me. I'm kind of surprised I was able to do this as a little kid. Good challenge. I thought I remembered it being a little longer than that. Um, um, but maybe that's because... Yeah, I get through it faster as a grown-up. Yeah, let's do that. Same level. I have no idea how we knew that level was there. Oh, there it is! That's the box I was talking about. So it was here. This, this right now, this, this level is bringing back memories hardcore. So weird. Yeah. 
I keep saying that, but the more I play this, like, the more, you know, all the memories are coming back to me from when I was really little. Like, this game is the best at bringing back all my childhood memories. Yeah, I was gonna say, when I talked about this game being revolutionary, the only way, you know, I could, you know, I could say that it could have been more revolutionary is if it had some kind of, like, vehicles. Um, so they should have had Yoshi for that. Um, but yeah, Yoshi never... Yoshi isn't in this in the gameplay at all. He's just up there at the end when you collect when you collect all the st stars and you just see him. That's, That's kind of disappointing. They really should have had Yoshi in this game. And it always I always hated how Luigi wasn't in this game at all. That always bothered me. So those are the only flaws I could think of, you know, in this game. But even so, this this game is amazing. One of the definitely one of the best games I've ever made. like that word. Yo, I'm disappointed that, um, as a toddler, you know, I've never got to the boss there. I didn't know how. That's what that little cage was for, to get to it, and then you get to that boss with the two hands. Because I would have been thrilled to see that. Okay. I just want to do that, um, that place one more time. Explore the rest of the level. I know there's a shell here too, um, so you can ride on the lava. Well, okay, the shell's the only... 
the closest thing to a vehicle. I guess you can count that. just in case I don't yeah. want Oh, this is where all this... Um... I definitely want to do this. That's very cool. I never knew what that was, but I always thought it was very cool. I mean, I just thought it was like that stuff that made Mario metal. Um, that material, but in liquid form. that power up that makes you Metal Mario. I forgot I have to press those switches for those blocks to have those. So I can get them. stuff. It was pretty frustrating. I can't believe how much stuff I forgot. I, I, I thought I had this game, like, completely memorized. Obviously, I, obviously it's been a long time since I actually played it. That makes me glad, uh, you know, that I did this as a Let's Play, because, you know, then it's the most surprising it could be for the Let's Play. I don't remember if this was the level. I think it was. Um, I'd like to see that giant um, seed animal, whatever that was, that you ride on. That was awesome.
actually, yeah. Yeah. That could be it. Okay. Well, I definitely would love to continue this. Because... You know, it brought, brought back a whole bunch of memories. And, you know, it was very nostalgic. And it was very fun. So yeah, I'll try to continue this game someday. Sometime. Good timing. Okay. Thank you for watching. See you next time.